Well, we've talked many times about saving for your child's college education. Now, according to the Manhattan Institute, college tuition has gone up on average 20% over the last decade. But over the last 20 years, it's gone up 179%, averaging a 9% increase per year. That's just not sustainable. So tonight on Money Talks, we talk about one of your best saving vehicles, the 529 College Fund. Albert Einstein, when asked if E equals MC squared was the greatest thing ever noted, he said, no, it's compounding interest, and even I can't explain it. So when it comes to saving for your child's college, put it to work for you. The earlier you start saving for college, the better because your money has more time to grow and compound. For example, if you wanted to save $50,000 for your child over 18 years, if you're able to earn a 7% return per year, you need to save around $115 per month to reach that goal. But if you wait until your child is age 10 before starting to save, you'd need to save around $332 per month instead of $115 per month if you were to earn that same 7% return. So you need to put away quite a bit more money to reach that $50,000 goal. You also need to use the right investment vehicles, and you need to take on the proper amount of risk versus reward in order to let that money work for you. There are a few types of investment accounts that can be used for college expenses, but 529 college savings plans are the most popular. They're great because they don't require initial amounts to get started. The parents maintain control of that money. It grows tax deferred, and it's actually tax free if those withdrawals are used for qualified higher education expenses. Most 529 plans will offer what they call age-based or enrollment-based portfolios. What that is, it's a single investment that you can buy based on the age of your child, or when he or she will start college. It'll be a diversified investment with a single holding that'll make this decision of what to invest in much easier for you. Neil Vinoy also has another tip to make the most for your buck and keep your costs down. Before you get started with a 529 plan, make sure you understand the costs involved. Look for things like sales commissions, ongoing expenses, and maintenance costs. Make sure you have a good understanding of what you pay to invest that money for your child. Also, be aware geographically where you live and what the laws are as you'll want to maximize your tax benefit. If you live in a state with an income tax, keep in mind you're going to have to use that state's 529 plan to get the tax break for those contributions. But know that if your child attends college in another state outside of that one, you might have to pay back all those tax deductions that you received. As a Texas resident, since there's no state income tax, we can invest in any 529 plan we want. So look around, look for a, a plan with no sales commissions, low expenses, and good investment options because we have the pick of any 529 plan in the U.S. Benefits of Texas. And if interested, Neil recommends that you go to Clark Howard or savingforcollege.com to find these great funds. 15.8 million investors nationwide right now in America are currently taking advantage of 529 college funds. If you just had a baby or even if you're pregnant or even if you're trying, it's probably time to start thinking about this great investing tool. Does the great weather continue or are there rain chances? Andy's forecast comes your way next.